In the ancient village of Einkerim, now part of Jerusalem, a family named the Shimshanas made an extraordinary discovery hidden beneath their recently renovated home. Beneath the flooring of their house lay an ancient secret that had been lost for centuries, potentially connected to biblical history. This revelation had the potential to reshape our understanding of the Christian world. Einkerim, nestled within modern-day Jerusalem, has a rich historical heritage dating back to the Iron Age. It has been associated with biblical figures like John the Baptist and was even linked to materials used in the construction of the Second Jewish Temple in Jerusalem. Today, it's a vibrant suburb known for its narrow streets, restaurants, and art scene, hiding ancient secrets beneath its surface. Archaeological endeavors in Jerusalem have always been challenging due to its long and complex history. The city has seen settlements dating back thousands of years, from King David's era to Roman exile and subsequent control by various Muslim states. The city's history includes Christian crusaders, British control, and eventual establishment as the nation of Israel. The Shamshoni family, who purchased a historic home in Einkerim, embarked on restoration work, leading to an unexpected discovery. While removing layers of flooring, they accidentally uncovered a secret chamber containing a nearly 2,000-year-old ritual bath. Uncertain about how to proceed, they concealed the chamber, as registering historic finds in Israel can be complex. However, their sense of duty led them to inform the Israel Antiquities Authority, IAA, about their discovery. In 2015, the Shimshanis allowed IAA officials to inspect their find. They rolled back a carpet and opened trapdoors to reveal the ritual bath carved into the bedrock beneath their property. Recognizing its significance, the IAA initiated an investigation. This discovery added to a series of archaeological revelations in Jerusalem, including the uncovering of an ancient street believed to be built by Pontius Pilate and subterranean chambers near the Second Jewish Temple. Each of these findings contributes to a clearer understanding of Jerusalem's rich history. The Shinshoni family's accidental discovery of an ancient ritual bath beneath their home in Einkerim, Jerusalem, has shed new light on the city's historical significance. It joins a series of recent archaeological finds that continue to unravel the mysteries of this ancient and storied city, providing valuable insights into its past and its connections to biblical history. Measuring approximately 11 feet in length, 8 feet in width, and nearly 6 feet in depth, this mikvah was large enough to fully immerse an adult. Situated some 10 feet below ground, it likely had been constructed as part of a residence in the first century ad. What makes this mikvah beneath the Shimshoni residence particularly intriguing is its location within the district of Ein Karam a location mentioned in the Bible as the birthplace of John the Baptist and the setting for his mother's encounter with the Virgin Mary. For years, scholars had attempted to identify this location, often associating it with Ein Karam. There is even a Catholic church in the area named after St. John the Baptist. However, archaeological evidence supporting this connection had been scarce until recently. Besides the mikvah, archaeologists have also discovered ancient walls, an olive press, and burial sites in Ein Karam. These findings, combined with the mikvah, suggest the presence of a Jewish community during the Second Temple period, around 2,000 years ago. While there isn't conclusive proof linking the mikvah to the story of John the Baptist, the evidence indicates that rituals were significant at this site. In Jewish law, ceramic implements used in religious rites are considered contaminated and are typically smashed afterward. Stone implements, on the other hand, are deemed impervious and can be reused. Archaeologists found relics beneath the Shimshoni residence, suggesting adherence to this practice during the site's use. Furthermore, during their investigation of the mikvah, archaeologists detected evidence of fire damage at some point in its history. Speculation arises as to whether this damage occurred in 70 AD when the Romans besieged Jerusalem, resulting in the destruction of the Second Temple. However, the exact timing of this damage remains unestablished. Traditionally, a mikvah is a ritual bath with a vital role in religious ceremonies, still adhered to today by those seeking to follow Judaism. It serves as an act of purification, 
undertaken after specific activities, such as consuming certain meats. The mica discovered beneath the Shimshoni residence is used much like those built thousands of years ago. The mica must adhere to specific specifications outlined in Jewish law, reflected in the design of this recent discovery. Additionally, there is a belief that a natural water source, rather than an artificial one like a tap, should be used to fill the bath, typically involving rainwater. The original source for the mikveh beneath the Shimshoni home remains undetermined. It still fills up with water during the winter, its source remaining a mystery. Interestingly, this is not the first time that a historical mikveh has been unearthed in recent years. In 2013, archaeologists announced the discovery of a ritual bath, believed to date back two millennia, in the Kiryat Menachem neighborhood of Jerusalem, complete with its own unique supply system to ensure uncontaminated water. Furthermore, in 2014, a 1,900-year-old mikveh was found buried beneath a highway near Jerusalem. Shockingly, it appeared to have been vandalized in the 1940s, with the names of a couple of Australian soldiers etched into the stone. Despite the damage, the bath and its antiquated cistern remained a fascinating relic. In recognition of their discovery, the Shimshoni family received a certification of appreciation from the authorities. Amit Reem, an archaeologist with the IAA, emphasize that finding antiquities under private homes or public buildings is a unique occurrence, especially in Jerusalem. Each time it happens, the thrill of discovery is rekindled. Thank you for watching, and please remember to like, comment, and share the video. And never forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates.